Welcome to Clandale for the second round of the Fab Race and British Mini Bikes Championship. Um, a part of the Road to MotoGP. Let's have a look at the senior mini motos and straight away let's dive into the commentary box. And there are 22 riders uh, in this senior mini motor championship and it does look absolutely incredible. It is uh, certainly a very fun championship to watch. You know, uh, there's going to be lots of action. 22, uh, 22 uh, riders. Uh, riders uh, on this grid and uh, we're just waiting for the red flag to go down as uh, I think uh, yeah D Dylan Torian I think that or that, that potentially is uh, Jensen Bishop not too sure um, but yeah we were, we were just seeing him making his way back to the paddock as uh, as we are seeing uh, we are seeing the mini motors uh, come on track now any second the red flag on uh, in the pit lane should allow the drivers to get on the grid so as we said when they come onto the grid there we go we are seeing them come onto the grid there you get one for uh, we get uh, a, a warm-up lap so obviously one too sure whether these drivers would be getting uh, a, a, a warm-up lap or whether the riders uh, would would or not uh, would or would not be getting a warm-up lap you know a few races yesterday I don't think did have a warm-up lap uh, so we're just seeing uh, that's Craig Ashell there just checking checking a few things um, on on the grid as you see Josh Birkin there just lining up in P2 so as all the riders I think all the riders uh, are, are here I think we might be missing uh, maybe one or two riders on the grid I'm not too sure there there seems to be a bit of a gap um, kind of down in 15th uh, or somewhere around that here we go so wow all of the all of the riders look at all that two stroke uh, two stroke oil smoke uh, in the background absolutely sensational so 22 riders start on this grid Greg, uh, Craig Ashell in the 81 starts on four position Josh Birkin starts P2 in the number two just alongside him Will Howard starts P3 and the uh, Josh uh, Matt Birkin my apologies starts P4. Holly Harris, the British uh, Talent Club rider, starts P5. Nick Bennett starts P6 in the 7-1-1. Mark Payne uh, in the number 18 starts P7 alongside Chris Yeomans in P8. Rhys Gentry starts P9 and David Wyatt starts P10. Ross Michael starts P11. Cam Callum White alongside him on the 6th row of the grid starts P12. Keaton Payne starts P13 with uh, Lamar Morgan starting in P14. Lewis King starts P15 alongside Shannon King there uh, in P 16. Uh, uh, Elliot Seal uh, or Seal starts P17. Ruby Wild starting P18. Robert Kitely starting P19. Paul Bayliss starts P20. Steve Johns P21. Rob Gentry uh, rounds up the grid and finishes P22. So as we see, the first of the riders kind of coming onto the grid. Uh, not too sure uh, what is what is uh, what is going. Uh, on there, just seeing a bit of a yellow flag there, not too sure. I think all the, all the riders are coming onto the grid, I think. Yeah, all, all the riders uh, prepared and revving, revving their engines, ready to go for this uh, for this race. So it's looking like it's going to be a very very exciting race. All of them just trying to just trying to get um, uh, on things. So it seems to be uh, Josh Birkin uh, on pole position. So I'm not too sure what's happened there, but let's have a look at the lights. We're just waiting for them to go on now. There we go. The red light is on. It's lights out and go go go. It seems to be I think it's that Craig Ashell who gets a very good start. Josh Birkin slots in second in battle. For P3 there between Will Howard and Matt Birkin there uh, who has come out I believe that is Will Howard I think that has, uh, that has come out P3 there um, with Matt Birkin there uh, obviously the two Birkin brothers Josh Birkin and Matt Birkin uh, there it seems to be on the time it's Holly Harris up to third place absolutely sensational there a very very good start uh, from her uh, so we just have a look at the drivers now seems to be going wheel to wheel at this look at this battle for second place Oh wow, that is, uh, that is getting very, very close as they come through the chicane here to go on to the Spitfire straight. Let's see if any of these riders can get a slipstream or potentially might even be able to make a move into the first corner. Let's have a look. Can any of the drivers? Oh, it's very, very close indeed as they all go over the line for the first time. So Will Howard, uh, obviously, as I said, leads this race. Josh Birkin in P2nd, Matt Birkin, so the two Birkin brothers together uh, on the podium places at this time is in P3. Holly Harris is in P4. Nick Bennett, P5. Craig Ashell, P6. Mark Payne, P7. Chris Yeomans, P8. David Miat, P9. And Reese Gentry, P10. Yeah, just so it's like uh, Matt Birkins went a bit wide at the first um, chicane there, letting Holly Harris pass. So Holly Harris is now in the podium positions. 
So I'd be absolutely delighted with that, but she'll be not thinking too much about that as she has Josh Birkins just in front of her. So right now she's in a Birkins sandwich. Um, so as she's looking towards the insides of Josh Birkins there. But Will Howard still leads away. And um, Will Howard is just trying to get as touched as possible, just like all the riders. But Holly Harris looks to be lining up a move. Will she make it? No, she cannot. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, she had to back out of that move. Uh, Josh Birkins taking a very defensive line through that final corner. But Holly Harris is looking up the inside, going to the first corner there at the chicane Holly Harris looks like she has some great pace in the senior mini moto class um, but talking about Holly Harris she's actually set the fastest lap of the race with so a 53.5 um, three tenths faster than Josh Birkins in front of her so Holly Harris clearly has the pace here so the question is Alex can this be her day? Yeah, yeah, I could say so. I mean, she's got absolutely incredible pace, it seems. You know, she's moved up into third place. She's got the fastest lap. So uh, let's see what she can do, whether she can actually chase down Josh Birkin to take P2 even. That will be absolutely sensational if she do that. Look at the... Oh! And that is Josh Birkin that slid, and he very, very well saved it. Kept the clutch in. Only a little bit of a slide, but that puts Holly Harris, just as we were talking about her, into P2. This is an absolutely sensational effort from her. Can she even chase down Will Howard for the lead? This could be absolutely sensational if she could do that. And the pace is looking absolutely incredible. Will Howard leads Holly Harris by 8 tenths of a second. Matt Birkin will also know Josh Birkin will not be happy with that. He's slid down to P4. His brother Matt has actually overtaken him. Obviously Craig Ashell in P5. But this battle for the top four is the battle that we are going to be watching. Here we are. So there is only three and a half seconds between first and fourth position. As we see Holly Harris actually starting to make a little bit of a gap to Matt Birkin trying to chase down Will Howard in the number 96. That number 15 bike is really, really working well for her this way and that way. As Matt Birkin closes up a little bit through that, but let's see who can get the better exit onto the back of the Spitfire straight. Will Howard leads by a healthy, healthy advantage trying to get any advantage he can to get a little bit of a pace advantage. Holly Harris doing really, really well there, going over the line. Will Howard sets the fastest lap of the race, a 53.392, which is actually uh, only a few tenths off the lap record there. Obviously, the lap record is only, um, kind of, it only counts or it can only be set in the race, not practice, nor qualifying sessions. But this is a fantastic battle as we now see Matt Birkin on the back of Holly Harris. Can Holly Harris do anything can she maybe get a better defensive line through these corners as that is Josh Birkin trying to make up for that mistake uh, early trying to get past uh, trying to get past his brother as we see Matt Birkin piling on the pressure uh, onto the back over Holly Harris but she looks like she gets a little bit of an advantage there let's see if she can hold it down the straight he's got a little bit closer there let's see oh they are going wheel to wheel almost uh, is he going to be able to make a send into the last corner yes he does wow what a send from Matt Birkin. That puts him in second place. So Holly Harris still in the podium positions. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, Holly Harris is going to try to get past uh, Matt Birkin straight away. As soon as Matt Birkin gets in a rhythm, he may, he may just clear off. But Josh Birkins will be trying as hard as he can to recover from his mistake. Um, because if you were not watching the coverage at Leeds, um, it is known that one of the Birkins brothers usually has a tip off at least some point in a race. And um, as we see a rider is down there um, and he's done the thumbs up, so he is okay, um, which is great to see. But we're just waiting. There may be a yellow flag out there, so overtaken may um, not be happening at this set of the track. I believe that may be uh, Lamar Morgan. Um, and sliding down the order at the moment but we'll tell you when we get official confirmation on that um, but Holly Harris is still in third place right now piling on the pressure of Matt Birkins Will Howard still leads away Will Howard right now has no competition but himself Will Howard as we know is racing multiple classes this weekend so he's getting great bike time and getting great amount of time on his track so he will know this track like the back of his hand at the end of today with him having three races in the senior um, mini motos and two races on the moto team um, so Will Howard still leads the way through this technical, technical um, hairpin type section leading on to a two, couple fast right handers. Holly Harris still in third, not too, um, with the fastest lap as mentioned earlier, but Alex, not too far off the lap record, which of course is set by Bernie Hook, Mr. Minimoto, who everyone here at Fab does miss. So Bernie, if you're watching at home, Please join us for one round, one final hurrah, um, as we see Will Howard trying to make his way through bat markers as we head on to the last lap of this race. So here we go, on to the last lap of the race, the last lap flag is out, Will Howard for number 96 
of the distinct black bike, black levers with a red and black helmet leads the way. But Matt Birkin just behind, not too far off, a 1.3 second gap. So Will Howarth will just want to try and control this pace for this final lap of the race. Holly Harris will take a third. She'll be very happy and pleased with that, but she'll be wanting to try and get a better start in race two. She knows that she is the pace, so if she, if she can try tagging the back of her from race two, um, I wouldn't be surprised if she'd be up front. But Will Howarth has dominated this race and heads through the final set of the track before he heads onto a Spitfire straight um, on his final lap. Final section of the track. See another rider is down there. It looks to be at coming out the final corner as Will Howarth makes his way through the final corner through the yellow flags to finish the race. Finish him first. He'll be absolutely delighted with that. Will Howarth takes the win here in race one on the senior mini motos with Matt Birkins in second and Holly Harris will be delighted to a third. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, fantastic action pack race as per usual with the with these mini motors. Absolutely fantastic uh, to see that, and a fantastic battle uh, between Holly Harris and Matt Birkin there for P2. But uh, yeah, Josh Birkin might be kicking himself uh, after that. You know, it was the most gentle of slides, and he just obviously managed to keep the clutch, but he just lost maybe one or two seconds there. But that unfortunately lost in the podium. So top ten rundown. Will Howard wins the race just ahead of Matt Birkin. Birkin. Holly Harris takes a fantastic podium there for P3. Josh Birkin in P4. And oh, there seems to be a few riders uh, down in the final corner. Um, so uh, Josh Birkin in P4. Craig Ashell in P5. They're all right. Uh, they're all right. Yep, yeah, they're up. Um, and uh, and yeah, uh, Craig Ashell in P5. Chris Yeomans uh, finishes P6. Nick Bennett in P7. Mark Payne in P8. Ross Michael, P9. Keaton Payne in P10. Callum White finishes P11. Lamar Morgan, P12. Uh, then it is uh, Shannon King uh, in P13. Elliot Seal uh, in P14. Ruby Wild, P15. Robert Kitley in P16. Uh, Paul Bayliss in P17. Rob Gentry, P18. Steve Johns, P19. David Miat, I think... Uh, uh, might have been the rider uh, who fell a little bit early in race. Oh, no, potentially Reese Gentry as well in P20 and 21. And Lewis King rounds out the final uh, finishers. Yeah, a, a really, really good action-packed race. You know, it was, uh, it was full of uh, full of drama, uh, as per usual, uh, as, as I said with these races. And it was a, a very, very kind of interesting uh, interesting race to watch, Lewis. Yeah, it certainly was. It's what we expect for senior men. It was, was action all the way through. They pushed each other to the limits. Um, as although um, the riders are best friends, off a track, of course. Um, yeah, all, all, on track, they're absolutely ruthless, as you've seen, and they just push the bikes and themselves to the absolute limit, um, as we're still under red flag conditions right now. Um, but it'll be very interesting to see um, how much this weekend can sway and will have way because of course going into this round he had a 13 point advantage over Matt Birkins in the championship um, so he'll want to extend that lead so hopefully he can come to round 3 in Ella Park of course um, and straight away um, have a nice lead in the championship which will take a bit of pressure off him and will let him relax so, as you can see, uh, in the paddock now, we have the Senior Mini Motor Championship for nine laps here, which is still uh, race two uh, for these. Now, this is a very, very fun championship because these are the same bikes uh, that, uh, that the... Um that the younger uh, riders use but these are not the younger riders these are uh, anyone these are uh, older uh, older riders uh, and they look uh, very 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 uh, cool indeed as you can just see all of the oil uh, that is burning off these two stroke engines uh, which is absolutely fantastic to see so a 22 uh, total uh, a 22 uh, as you can see a few a few riders drive uh, right into the commentary box uh, uh, waving into the commentary box um, even which is uh, lo lovely to see so we've got 22 uh, riders on this grid which is absolutely fantastic to see there we go away for the formation lap so Craig Ashell uh, I, I, uh, Craig Ashell will start on pole position with Josh Birkin alongside on the second round of the grid we have Will Howarth in third and Matt Birkin uh, obviously Josh Birkin's brother in P4 there's always some good racing between those two brothers Holly Harris starts P5 alongside Nick Bennett in P6. Mark Payne is in P7 with Chris Yeomans in P8. Rhys Gentry is in P9 
29 and rounded out the top 10, David Nyat in the number 22. Number 11 is Ross Michael in the number 79 with Callum White starting P12. Keaton Payne starts P13. Also Lamar Morgan who starts P14. Number 15 is Lewis King. 16th is Shannon King. 17th, Elliot Seal. 18th, Ruby Wilde. 19, Robert Kitely, 20, Robert Bayliss, 21, Steve Johns, and bringing up the 11th row of the grid, it's Rob Gentry in the number 147. Now look at that, what a sight that is, as you can see uh, on your camera. It does look absolutely incredible, and I'm sure uh, this is going to be some uh, mini Malta madness um, here which is which is going to be absolutely uh, fantastic. Uh, so Will Howarth uh, is actually uh, second, I believe, and Josh Birkin uh, is actually uh, on pole position, I believe. Yeah, so uh, not too sure uh, where that is. And uh, Matt Birkin is third, and Holly Harris is fourth. So not too sure where Craig Craig Ashell has gone, uh, but we will we will see. Oh, he's uh, he's fifth. He's fifth. Uh, so. Yes, uh, not too sure what's happened there, uh, but we will see. There we go. We get a thumbs up. We are going to get a point to the lights. There we go. And here we go. We're waiting for the red light for the Senior Mini Motor Championship. Here we go. Wait for the red light. There we go. And it's lights out. And away we go, go, go. A very, very quick start there. As that is, I believe, Will Howarth, I think, uh, going uh, into the lead of the race. The bright orange bike just behind him. Everyone getting through the first corner safely, which we love to see. As you see all of them going one by one by one by one uh, through these first three corners. As we see one bike there absolutely pouring out oil smoke, uh, which is very common with these two stroke bikes. So a very, very decent starting lead uh, for a lot of these drivers to see someone going on the inside uh, from another rider there that is a brave move on the first lap first lap sends um, we are seeing here as we see a very 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 good battle uh, between these two riders here as they come onto the back of the spit by a straight is there going to be a move made in I think there will be yes they're going side by side down into the final corner and that is a move complete a very very uh, well done move uh, from, I believe that was one of the Birkin brothers. Yes, it was. So those two, uh, P2 and 3, are the Birkin brothers. So they will have a fantastic start. You know, these two uh, might be brothers uh, off the track, but on track, I tell you what, they are definitely competitors. So 96, the Will Howard ridden bike uh, is in the lead of the race. You see Matt Birkin there on screen. Uh, so Will Howard leads from Matt Birkin in second. He takes second place away from the number two of Josh Birkin, his brother. Holly Harris, a great fourth position with Craig Ashell, uh, as we see the number 32, um, I believe that is, um, not too sure uh, that is, but it looks like he's going very, very slow uh, there, not too sure what's happened there, so that is Will Howard, uh, as we see him move on to the inside. Uh, of, uh, of someone there. So yeah, Will Howarth in the lead of this race. Uh, that is the two Birkin brothers in second, third. Holly Harris in third. Craig Ashell in fifth. Nick Bennett in sixth. Chris Hermans uh, in P7. Mark Payne P8. And Reese Gentry P9. And David Miat in P10. Yeah, Will Howarth got up to a cracking start um, at the start of the race. I mean, we've seen it in Moto Team earlier. Will Howarth can control a race and he can also battle with people. So he has everything he needs at the circuit. And he has the extra bike time by competing in multiple classes. And the Birkin brothers and in second and third. If you've never watched senior mini motor racing, you will not know the Birkin brothers. But the Birkin brothers, it's very, very rare that they both finish the race. I mean, even in race one um, today, we seen one of the Birkin, I believe it was Josh that went down um, and managed to keep the bike running and get a third place out of it still. But the Birkin brothers race so hard. All these riders race so hard. Well, however, I mean, Although Will Harvest in the lead right now, if Matt Birkins was to catch up to him, he would happily race Matt Birkins to the grass. I mean, there's they respect each other, but they're absolutely ruthless. They're all out here for fun because this is what we race for here at Fab Racing. We race here mainly for fun. Will Howarth is having fun right now out in the lead. A 1.7 second lead over Matt Birkins, which has um, around a six-tenth gap between his brother Josh with Holly Harris sticking in there in fourth place right now. Craig Asher, um, Asher has had a pretty good race so far. He's sitting in fifth. He'll be happy with that, but Right now, at the midpoint of the race, it's just trying to find the flow and get into it and see where your pace is at and try get close to another competitor to see where you can become faster at and where you can improve yourself as a rider. Um, so in race three today, they can go full attack and, well, try and um, battle Will Howarth, which is out in the lead right now and just 
coming over the line. With, and he's, I believe the gap's actually the same. So they're running about the same pace right now. Um, both Matt Birkins, Josh Birkins, and Will, Will Howard, which means that I don't think we're going to see changes anytime soon. But the good thing is, this is racing. Anything can happen. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, I believe that uh, that driver uh, that we saw slow uh, turn around and having a problem was David Myatt in the number 22 is running P10. Uh, so uh, unfortunately, he uh, he's um, kind of dropped down the order, which is uh, yeah, but very unfortunate for him. As we see uh, these two riders coming into the final corner, what a spectacular sight that is! Absolutely incredible. Yeah, Will Howard still having a fantastic lead, a commanding lead uh, of this race. Uh, the two Birkin brothers are, are less than a second away from each other, so this could be a very, very tasty uh, end to the race with four laps uh, to go at present. As we see some of the front markers, uh, I believe, lapping, lapping a few other drivers. Here we go. Uh, the two Birkin brothers have just gone by. They are uh, within, um, well, 1.2 seconds now, so Matt Birkin has pulled out maybe about two tenths, uh, I think, on his brother of Josh Birkin. Yeah, it's, uh, it's looking like a very entertaining race. It's, you know, uh, Will Howarth uh, getting that uh, getting that really good start, uh, putting himself into the lead. And, yeah, it's looking like it can be a very, very, very interesting race. Yeah, certainly. I mean, Will Howarth right now is commanding, um, well, currently he's commanding the race, he's dominating the race. Matt and Joss, there's really nothing they can do now. As Will Howarth is coming in the last set to the track right now to then make it two laps to go. I mean, they need a miracle right now for them to get up to Will Howarth and have a scrap. I mean, the senior mini motos, it's usually closer than this, but they're just, maybe some riders are just taking it a bit more easy on race two, trying to get points in the bag, because this is still only round two in the championship out of our eight round calendar here at Fab. So it's early on the season, they may just want points and they may leave the push in 115% until the end of the season. But Will Howard suddenly, but I believe the gap has went down to 1.2 seconds um, over Will Howard and Matt Birkins over the past few laps as Will Howard makes his way past traffic. Now, traffic is something that either can go help you or completely go against you. But the key is not to get too frustrated with traffic because if you do, that is when you make a mistake and instead of losing maybe half a second, you lose 15 seconds by pushing too hard and falling on the deck. As Will Howarth goes around the final corner to then make it one lap to go. The last lap flag there, the um, black cross on the yellow flag signifies to the rider, this is the last lap. He will know it now. He will know all he needs to do is bring it home. He has a decent gap over Matt Birkins, being 1.9 seconds now. Um, so I believe Matt Birkins may have just got held up slightly by some bat markers that lap. So Will Howard is just going to take it home, try to get through bat markers clearingly. He went behind them there, seen that Matt Birkins is a, a little bit behind them, so he doesn't have too much to worry about. He can run his own lines. He doesn't have to be defensive. He can hit his own breaker markers. He can just bring it home. I mean, it's so hard to stay focused whenever you know you're in for a good position on the final lap. You're thinking about everything, trying to push the thought of the way to the back of your mind until you get around this final corner. But Will Howard is fine. He has made it around the final corner. He is going to win this race. I mean, Pops a little wheelie going over the line. Will Howard is absolutely delighted. Matt Birkins will be very happy to get a second place with his brother Josh coming home in third. Both Birkins making it across the line. Holly Harris making it past some bat markers. Right at home in fourth place of Craig Ash Hall in fifth. Yeah, As you see a slow rider there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That is the 7-1-1 rider of Nick Bennett. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Unfortunately, uh, he, he's going to have to. He's going to have to uh, stop there. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like he's uh, he's okay though. Uh, he's absolutely okay. So uh, the top ten of, of this race, Will Howard wins the race from the Birkin brothers. They both finish this race, uh, which is lovely. Matt uh, Birkin finishes P2, Josh Birkin P3, Holly Harris, the British Talent Cup rider, uh, finishes P4, Craig Ashell in P5, Chris Yeomans uh, in, in uh, P6, uh, Mark Payne in P7, Reese Gentry uh, in P8, P9, Ross Michael and P10, Elliot Seal. Wow, Lewis, what a, what a race again. What a commanding lead from Will Howard. Yeah, it certainly was, but more drama has happened even though the race is finished. Matt, I've been told by Race Control that Matt Birkins has a jump start penalty, so he has been demoted one place, meaning that Josh, his brother, has now bet him. So Matt Birkins will be third place, so that now the new podium will be Will Howard for 
taking the win. Josh Burke in second and Matt um, Birkins in third. Yeah, absolutely. I th I'm pretty sure Josh will be slightly delighted with that, getting the getting the second place over his brother. Uh, yeah, a very, very interesting, uh, very, very interesting race uh, indeed. Obviously, a commanding win uh, for uh, for Will, and uh, it's lovely to see, uh, lovely to see uh, him uh, winning winning a, a race there. Senior mini moto is out on track with Josh Birkins that um, is actually going to be starting in pole position. It's quite a confusing grid because our, our starting grid sheet that we have here does not match up to what's on the grid. But um, it'll be Josh Birkins on pole position from Will Howard with Matt Birkins, I believe, in fourth place and Holly Harris in fifth with Nick Bennett, um, sorry, um, Craig Ashell in fifth, I believe, will be the top five. Um, but we're just going to have to wait and see until they form up on the grid to know what, well, where they're really going to form because all, ra all races today in the seniors, they've been going in different grid positions and we don't really know why. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So it's just the same with the with the, the um, with the extreme 200s as well, you know, a few drivers are electing to uh, start from the back. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's really uh, re really interesting uh, to see that these drivers are starting from the back of the grid, which is very very interesting. As we see, a, a few cars have uh, a few cars have gone, but a few people uh, have arrived uh, instead. So we've just got people standing by watching uh, watching the grid. So as we see, that is the number I think uh, number 96. Uh, of uh, of Will um, Will Howarth uh, starting out. I imagine he is going to want to get this race over and done as soon as possible. Fully black bike, fully black leathers, and a black and red helmet. He is not going to be very cool in that. So he's just going to try and go as fast as he can to cool off. Uh, yes, yes, in, indeed. It's, it's unfortunate he's not called Johnson as well because he literally is back in black. Uh, so... That is, uh, that is the number two cast. That is Josh Birkin who starts on pole as we look at the lights ready for the race start for the final race of the senior mini motors. Red lights are on and it's red lights out and away we go. And that is a fantastic start from Josh uh, Birkin. Will Howard, sorry, who crosses the line uh, to start this. Josh Birkin in second. The two Birkin brothers together in second and third. Are they going to be able to make it through this race cleanly? Holly Harris, uh, the British talent cop rider, is in P4. Nick Bennett uh, is in P5. Uh, across the line. So a fantastic start there from uh, Will Howard. He's just managed to take the lead away from Josh Birkin uh, there, which is uh, very, very interesting to see. See all the cars, there's two wide there uh, coming through. And do that uh, right-hander uh, as they come through. That's, yeah, but really, really interesting start. We're seeing this battle here between Will Howard and Josh Birkin. I think Matt Birkin is going to try to get on the back of this as well. Yes, he is there. Uh, so we're looking at Will Howard uh, coming on to the back straight. Josh Birkin isn't close enough uh, to make a move on this particular lap, but I have no doubt that those two will be challenging and swapping positions uh, all race. Yeah, certainly. I mean, Will Howard straight out the gate, as we also seen in the Moto Team race, he is just straight out the gate so fast. He's already got a three tenth gap over Matt Matt Birkins, which um, which has a best lap of 55, which is no slouch. Let me tell you that. But closely following is Holly Harris, according to our timing screens. Um, so we cannot. Josh Birkins has actually fallen down the order to ninth. Um, so I don't know what happened to him in that first lap, but. Will Howard still leads the way with Matt Birkin setting the fastest lap of the race with a 55.1 as they head round this final section of the track before they go in the back straight. Getting tucked in for these riders is so difficult. Look at this. It, there's massive riders on small bikes. It's so hard to get fully tucked in. Somewhat aerodynamic, but Will Howard has clearly found the way that works because he's in the lead of the race, although Matt Birkin's is still there. Matt Birkins is there, so if Will Harris makes any kind of mistake, he's close enough that he can make a pass. But Josh Birkins does have an issue that first up. He's back up to eight now, so um, that is not what he'll be wanting. No, no, absolutely not, but he is already making ground as well. And Holly Harris, as you said, the British talent club rider, is up into third place because of Josh Birkins' uh, incident or whatever. Maybe just ran wide. Uh, as you see, Holly Harris there uh, on screen, giving her, her absolute everything. She is on target for a podium for this race, which would mean so much to her and uh, would, would certainly, uh, uh, um, you know, be really good uh, for her. And obviously, then she can have another trophy to show off, uh, especially in the, uh, the British talent club. So, Will Howarth 
uh, currently leads. As you can see, everyone coming down the Spitfire straight there, our favourite uh, part of the track this weekend. Will Howarth uh, now crosses the line uh, to have a just under a second uh, lead from Matt Birkin. Holly Harris then crosses the line with Nick Bennett in P4. Chris Yeomans uh, crosses line P5 and 6. Uh, and 6 is Craig Ashall. Josh Birkin already up to P7 and Rhys Gentry down to P8. Mark Payne is P9 and just as I say that, Callum White crosses the line in P10. Yeah, a, a re really good battle uh, so far between Will Howard and Matt Birkin. Obviously, they keep pushing each other um, you know, no, no, matter, no matter the race uh, whatever and obviously this is the race that everyone really wants to win because it's the final race of the weekend this is the one you remember when you leave the track maybe not race one and race two you remember the final race so it's going to be really interesting to see uh, to see what Will Howard uh, can do uh, the, uh, the track oh that is an instant off track that is the number uh, 51 I believe or 71 not sure. oh no that is the 81 of Chris uh, uh, Craig Ashell uh, who was down in P6 I'm not too sure what's happened there and uh, yeah, as we look in at the Sarose going side by side over the start finish line, uh, that is uh, Josh Birkin going past Craig, uh, Craig Ashell. Uh, there or, and uh, yes, a, a very very interesting few couple of corners here. As we see these riders going three by three. Oh, they are going three wide as well. Wow, that is uh, certainly very very brave on these mini mini bikes, which is a uh, very very interesting to see. As we're looking at Holly Harris there uh, going through that right uh, left hander, uh, right hander onto a thing. As we see these three separated by I don't even know by about half a second between all three of them. A really really fantastic effort here as they're going to come through. To the right hander, then the left hander, and then the right hander onto the back of the Spitfire straight. Can one of them make a move uh, on the back of another one? Let's have a look. So that is the 80, uh, the 85 there. This is a battle uh, for fifth place. It says no, none of them uh, are able to do that. So that's Chris Yeomans in front with Josh Birkin in the middle with G Reese Gentry um, in, uh, in the back of this pack. Yeah, just three laps to go. Will Howe still leads the way of this race. Matt Birkin is closely falling behind, just 1.7 seconds behind. But there's Josh Birkin in your screen right now. He's in a, he's in, in the midst of a battle, and that is what happens when you're not in the front. You can get in the gaggle of riders where it's about three or four of you, and you start tripping each other up, losing ground, which then brings on even more riders, and it ends up into a five or six um, bike battle. And I believe that is the number 75 of Elliot um, Searle. Um, that is still the side of the track, but he's rejoined, um, I can see outside my window, um, back on the track. As we cut back to Josh Birkins, wanting to make more places up on the 85. Um, so we are going with this race, two laps to go, just two laps. Wilhouse still his way, as we see another rider is retired. He's sitting outside the track looking pretty miserable, disappointed. But, because his weekend is over, this is the last race of the weekend. But this is the last race of the weekend. Will Howarth is in the lead. He, everyone wants to win this race. Matt Birkins, although it's a 2.5 second gap, he will not be trying any less. He will be pushing as hard as he can as Will Howarth goes on to start, well, go to, goes on to the back straight to start his final lap of this race. He's trying everything he can to keep this lead. There's a back marker in front of him, but that will not phase him because he knows that he has a decent size gap for Matt Birkins. There's no need to worry. There's no need to do anything stupid and potentially risk losing valuable championship points. Um, but as Will Howard starts the final lap of the race, he has a 4.5 second gap over Matt Birkins. That is enormous. He can control this race. He literally just needs to bring it home on two wheels, which sometimes is easier said than done. But he just needs to stay focused and stay with it. But we can see that Josh Birkins and Nick Bennett have been pushed up in position. Josh Birkins now up to fourth. That is a great recovery from him um, after having the mishap of the first couple laps. But all the attention right now is on Will Howard. He is going for the final section of the track, puts the bike onto the right hand tyre, puts it on the back straight on the fat part of the tyre, trying to touch it as much as possible, if that's possible, the size of him. He is going around the final corner. Big riders, well bikes, big accomplishment. He's won the race, the final race of the weekend here at Glendale for the senior mini motos. And he's won it over Matt Birkins, which has, well, we're still waiting for Matt Birkins to cross line. He has a nine second gap. Matt Birkins must have got caught up in lap traffic there. 
Holly Harris coming home in fourth there, uh, in third, sorry. So that's a great podium for her. She'll be absolutely delighted with a British Talent Cup rider, currently riding for the FHO racing team, which of course is bringing on great young female talents. You see the top 10, Will Howard takes the win with, by nine seconds with Matt Birkins in second place. Holly Harris comes home in third with Josh Birkins fourth. Nick Bennett fifth, um, Chris Yeomans in sixth, Reese um, Gentry in seventh, Matt Payne, Mark Payne in eighth, Craig Ashell in ninth, and Callum White rounds out the top ten. Alex, what did you think of that senior race? Absolutely fantastic. You know, Will Howard, as I said before, he's trying to get as fast as possible so he can take off. Uh, to, he can take off them, uh, to take off them ladders because it is a very, very warm day. Uh, to obviously Matt Birkin and uh, Josh Birkin with that fantastic comeback as well, and obviously that fantastic podium uh, for Holly Harris as well, um, which was uh, yeah, I, I bet that's gonna gonna, gonna gonna make her and her family's week uh, this week, and uh, obviously until the next round. So yeah, very happy for her uh, to see that uh, Josh. Birkin obviously with that fantastic uh, recovery as well. Not too sure what happened to, to Chris Yeomans. I think maybe he just had a bad corner uh, and allowed Nick Bennett and Josh Birkin uh, to, uh, to get past. And that is the amazing action here at Clandau. What an absolutely fantastic day of racing. Join us next time uh, for round three at Ella Park. Thank you for watching. the road to MotoGP, this is Fab Racing.